Saturday and Sunday, July 25th and 26th, the sun is in Leo and the moon is in Libra. This combination is so much fun because why? Leo is fire and Libra is air. And when you add air to fire, there's joy. And Leo's best thing in life is colors and beauty and the aesthetic. And that's Libra's favorite thing is jewelry and putting things together and creating design. So if you wanted to put flavors together this weekend to decorate your house or to take some energy around and redo things. It's the middle of the summer. It's the unbelievable Leo era with the Libra energy that should be lightening things up. If you're not feeling light, if you're not feeling like there's a fun factor going on when there's sun and Leo and moon and Libra, something's fishy. There's a giant cardinal cross that only happens very few times in a year. And how does it go? We know the moon's in Libra and Mars is opposite in Aries. Mercury's in Cancer and Jupiter's in Capricorn opposite. So all four cardinal signs, if a baby were born with all four cardinal signs being in their chart, the first thing you would know is they've got leadership. And with Leo, they have comfort to be in front of a camera, to be in front of an audience, to stand up and be counted. So these couple of days, the energy is very, very strong. Not just for you, as far as being a Leo, if it's your personality, you're watching your video, but for all the cardinal signs, anybody who's an Aries, Libra, Cancer, or Capricorn, you're going to feel the tension. That's what a grand cross does. It puts four distinct energies in the same room that don't necessarily get along. So Moon and Libra is all about wanting to make peace and look beautiful and be happy and that Mars and Aries is a little feisty. Like we not, don't need peace, we need truth. And then we have that Mercury and Cancer being super sensitive and gentle and then opposite is Jupiter and Capricorn saying, excuse me, we have work to do. So don't be getting all emotional right now. There's no need for that. We have to be professional. So there's conflict between the feisty one of Aries and the Libra peacemaker, the Cancer sensitivity and the Capricorn workaholic and you put them inside the energy and it can create tension. Now here's the upside, announcement. If anyone's born with a grand cross, it means that this lifetime they came in with tension. And tension is what drives us to wake up. We never wake up when it's soft and gentle. We wake up when there's tension, when there's crisis, when life is getting awful. So I hate to say that, but during this grand cross in Cardinal Signs, it is going to instigate us to say during this weekend, how can I have fun, be creative, use my flair, and still be responsible to take this energy that's in the heavens right now and initiate because it's all cardinal energy and it's here for you. Astrology Answers wanted me to tell you, it's time to get up this weekend. There's a lot of chi up in the sky. In a few days, August 18th, you can click the link below and get yourself on the list to prepare to sign up for our astrology school. The cart is opening, registration is opening. All you have to do is click the link and we'll get you informed. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about the four elements and discover which elements and signs you're most compatible with, which everybody wants to know, click the link in the description to sign up and get instant access to my elemental compatibility PDF. And you can find out who you really do get along with.